Hi everyone and welcome. By the end of this video, you know how to use motion guides to move an object along a custom path in Animate. And I'm going to teach you two methods of doing this. So before I go ahead and create the stage, I'm going to refer to the source folder in which I have the background and refer to the first image I'm going to use, this one and take a look at the dimension that's 1224 by 612 then i head back into animate create new and enter the same dimensions now i'm going to change the stage size up here in the top right corner to fit in window and I will import the image onto the stage. So let's go to file, import, import to stage. Then we pick the cartoon road image. And it fits exactly onto the stage. Now let's rename the layer to road or road underscore one. And let's go ahead and create a new layer for our car. And go to file and say import to stage. Pick our yellow car, click on open. And let's rename the layer. And say car underscore one. And now let's go ahead and resize and reposition it. So I'm going to pick the free transform tool and hold down shift once I reduce the size so that I don't distort it. Then I'm going to bring the to one of the diagonal corners and rotate till it's in this position. I'm going to move it towards the beginning of the road. Let's reduce the size of our window to 50. Hold down shift once I go to one of the corners and reduce again. Now down here I have my magnifying or the zoom tool and I'm going to zoom in on that area and I'll pick my move tool once again and reposition my car. Once again you can pick the free transform tool and slightly put it in this angle. So let's go ahead and create a new layer. Place a layer on top of the car layer and name it guide or guide one underscore one. I'm now going to move my car back a bit and pick the pen tool. Head to the properties window give it a stroke color let's go with white and maintain a stroke size of one select the guide layer and with the pen tool we are going to create a custom path along the road to match its curves so you can begin by clicking at the first point where you want your path to begin with and the next point you click and hold and drag down till it matches the path and click and hold click and hold and drag and just make sure the path matches the lines that we have dotted on the road
The last one, you can let it go out of the screen like this. So now that we are done with the guide, let's head back to our car layer. Let's first, let's do this fit in window so we can see everything. Or let's even reduce it a bit like 50. Yeah, so we see everything now. So let's go ahead and select the car layer. Pick the zoom tool. Zoom in on the area. Pick the free transform once again. And now let's click and drag this anchor point to the front of the car like this. And I'm going to move the car to the white anchor point attaches itself to the path like this. Now let's go head into our timeline and look for five seconds because I want it to last for five seconds. Now let's go ahead and look for five seconds or select all the frames here and click on insert keyframe. Now let's head back to where guide is. The guide layer, right click and select guide. I see it creates this hammer-like icon by the left. And select the car layer, car layer one. Click and drag it beneath the guide layer. So it becomes sort of a sub layer of the guide layer. Now click anywhere in between the car one layer. First, let's, let's do this fit in Windows so that we can see what's going to happen. Right click in between anywhere in the car layer and create classic twin. You have the symbol warning, just click OK. And now we move our car. But before you do that, make sure the playhead is at the very end of our animation, the last keyframe. And click and drag our vehicle to the end like this. Now, if I drag my playhead through, you see that uh, the car follows the path exactly. But we need to make some fine tuning to its movement. So select anywhere in the middle of the car layer. Now come to the frame under properties and let's look for tweening. And under tweening, there are some checkboxes here that we can select and click on orient to path. So you, as soon as you do that, you see the car corrects itself. So I still have to do some changes because it still seems to like doesn't go with the flow at the end. So at the very end, you pick your free transform tool once again. And make sure you select the, the vehicle, the car. And just use the rotation aspect to try and correct its orientation. So now this time around, when we scrub through, we should have something like this. And to test our animation, let's go to control. Test, test in animate. Let's do test in animate. So you should have something like this. And so for the second method, I already have my objects in place. You can see them in the layer. We have the stars, the rocket, and the earth. And we are going to let the rocket go around the earth using what we call a shape guide. So instead of using a custom path as we used in a pen tool in the first method, we are going to use a shape in guiding our object around the earth. So just above the rocket layer, I'm going to create a new layer. 
and we can rename this shape guide. Let's double click it to rename. Shape underscore guide. And in our shape tool, we click and hold and select the oval tool. And then when you come to the properties panel, look for color and style. And this time we don't need a fill. So we select no fill. And for the stroke, we can go for something dark like dark gray, like this. Now with our playhead on the blank keyframe of the shape guide, I'm just going to draw an over. It's not going to be so visible. I'm going to draw an over like this. And I'll use the move tool or the free transform tool to move it in place. Something like this. And I'm going to reshape it as well, like this. So that part of the guide goes behind the F. And I'm going to select the F layer select the free transform and increase the size just a little bit. So I'll hold down shift whilst I do that so that I don't distort the shape of the F. I'm going to right click on the shape guide and select guide as we did in the first one and select the rocket layer and click and drag it beneath the shape guide layer and on the rocket layer i'm going to pick the free transform tool and try and attach the anchor point of the rocket to the guide like this next i'm going to go to around four seconds And select all the frames on the four second mark in the timeline and add a keyframe. Just as we did in the first method, select anywhere on the middle of the timeline of the rocket, right click and create a classic twin. So when the symbol warning comes, just click OK. And this time around, I'm going to move to the zero second mark. That's why we're going to begin. And we want to come and end right here again. So what I'm going to do is move to one second, to the one second mark, and move my rocket somewhere here. Not throughout the entire circle, not like this. Because if I do this and I play back, the rocket will seek the shortest way back to where it came from. So I'm going to reposition this to, sorry. Let's select the rocket and reposition it to somewhere here. So I'm going to move it in bits and pieces along the guide. So I'm going to move the playhead to the two second mark and move my rocket further to somewhere here like this. Then move to three seconds and move it towards somewhere getting to the end 
And as I move my playhead to the last keyframe, you see the rocket itself finds its way to the beginning or to where it started from. Now we need to fix the orientation of the rocket as it goes around the Earth. So let's go back to the zero second mark. Just click anywhere on the timeline, look for tweening. And then we say orient to path. Now we're going to go to every keyframe and pick the free transform tool and rotate the rocket just to ensure that it's on the path. So when I come to two seconds, select and rotate so that it's on path. Do the same thing when I get to three seconds. Rotate it so that it's pointing in the same direction. So rotate this one too, so that it points in the correct uh, <coughs> position and then that's it. So when we do a quick playback, You should have something like this. Now, as the rocket is nearer to us, it should be bigger. And as it goes farther away and behind the Earth, it should look smaller. So we are going to change the size of the rocket as per on each keyframe that we have on its timeline. So starting from here, we can maintain the size. As it gets to this point, let's use the free transform tool to reduce the size. And let's reduce the size further here. So as it comes back to us, then it increases in size once more. So in the two methods we've just learned, we learned how to use the pen tool in creating a custom path for the motion guide. And we also learned how to use a shape tool or a shape in creating a motion guide as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions and suggestions, you can leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them. And till we meet in the next video, it's bye.